now the third one is carbon tetra chloride okay now in carbon tetra chloride fire extinguisher what will happen like here ccl4 okay ccl4 that means carbon carbon chloride and tetra means 4 okay so carbon tetra chloride now you know carbon tetra chloride when this comes out it gets converted into vapor and again it as soon as it comes in the contact with the burning thing okay now this kind is this kind of fire extinguisher is used generally for electricity or electric fire okay now when this comes in the contact with the burning thing so what will happen it gets spread over the burning thing and again the supply of oxygen gets cut off okay so now carbon tetrachloride what will happen we don't have to write much over here so vapor comes out okay and this vapor get spread on burning material and cut off the supply of oxygen ok so oxygen supply is what it is cut off so we have studied first of all a general C structure of the fire extinguisher a metallic cylinder filled with sodium bicarbonate inside that a glass bottle is there which is filled up by what sulfuric acid now it is on getting you know, on striking the sulfuric acid get released it reacts with sodium bicarbonate carbon dioxide along with water get released ok carbon dioxide what does it do carbon dioxide replaces oxygen that means the first thing happens the oxygen is cut off now when the water comes out children the second thing happens that means the ignition temperature is also lower down and then after this we discussed about the foam ok foam what fire extinguishers again the same metallic cylinder filled with saturated solution of sodium bicarbonate and along with sodium bicarbonate saponin solution was there and in the glass tube aluminum sulphate were, was there that means uh, sulfuric acid was not there ok it was replaced by aluminum sulphate now what happened in the foam time when carbon dioxide gas ca came out along with like when it comes out when carbon dioxide gas comes out along with that the foam also comes out now this foam get spread over the surface of the wet oil and it cut off the supply of the oxygen and thus again the fire gets stopped foam type of extinguishers are used for the oil uh, fires now the third one the last one the carbon tetrachloride CCL4 when it is used the vapor of carbon tetrachloride comes out which gets spread over the burning material it, it is used in the electric fire and again the cut off like supply of oxygen is not there so the fire get extinguished now this was about the how you know the fire can be extinguished ok what are the conditions which are required for the fire to be extinguished what are the conditions which are required to stop the combustion ok to stop the burning thing now after uh, you know we studied various things and three conditions also as we say that for burning a thing for burning a substance for our substance to undergo combustion three conditions are required that means to have what so first of all to have combustible substance and supporter that means oxygen and to reach to that temperature that means to reach to ignition temperature now here when we talk about extinguishing a fire we have just opposite three things that means removal of a combustible substance cut off of oxygen and 
to bring down the substance below ignition temperature. Then again to extinguish the fire, the water, soil can be used, blankets can be used on a person when I talk about. In general to extinguish the fire, different kind of fire like you know different means are used. Okay, generally water is used, but water cannot, cannot be used when fire is due to some you know uh, causes like maybe the electric fire or the oil fire. In these kind of things different kind different means are adopted. When we talk about fire extinguishers we have just studied about the three different kinds of fire extinguisher. The soda acid fire extinguisher, foam type of extinguishers and carbon tetrachloride extinguishers. Okay, so these were all of fire extinguishers which we just discussed now and all this was about the how the extinct like how can one stop the combustion or how the combustion is stopped ok. Now we will talk something about the like you know flame when a substance is burning when substance undergoes combustion you might have observed that sometimes the substance when it is burned it burns with a flame you know it burns with a flame, but when uh, we see a second substance it does not give any kind of flame. So, what is there does it the case that one substance likes to give the flame and the other substance does not like to give the flame just sounds silly ok. So, what is the reason that one substance on combustion gives the flame and the second substance on the combustion does not gives out the flame ok. So, uh, it just glow see just bring in front of you in imagination just imagine just do not bring. So, just bring in uh, front of your eyes burning candle ok burning candle and burning piece of a uh, uh, wood or charcoal ok. So, there are certain substances which when burn they what they show flame you can understand that yeah flame is coming out ok. As you take the example of the candle you will find that flame comes out ok, but in the same way when we talk about coal, charcoal, wood you will find that it does not burns with a flame ok. In the beginning ok I am talking I am saying that even in the beginning the wood some for some few minutes ok it burns with a flame but again then it does not gives a flame and then then it starts glowing only. So, what is the reason of being giving flame and not giving flame till now we discussed that there are like you know the substance uh, undergo combustion the substance burn and then we said we discussed that the a few substances they have flame they give flame and the few substances they do not give a flame they just glow. Now, why we will study now see children when the substance undergoes a complete combustion ok. When a substance undergoes a complete combustion that means when a substance is burning completely ok. For a substance to burn completely what is required oxygen is required in proper amount oxygen is required in sufficient amount. When a burning substance is getting sufficient amount of oxygen, when a burning substance is getting proper amount of oxygen then it will burn properly and that combustion is known as what complete combustion that means a complete combustion is taking place ok. When the substance undergoes complete combustion ok then there is no flame like you know it, it is known as uh, it what what will happen the combustion is total and so the like you know it becomes luminous. So, we were talking about when a substance gives a flame and when a substance do not give a flame ok. For a substance if we say that the substance is giving flame that means you know when a substance gives flame when when a substance is burning in its vapor form ok that means when gas is reacting with the gas ok. So, in that condition the substance will give flame ok. See for example, when I talk about 
when I talk about a candle, okay, I am talking about a candle, okay. So, when this candle is burning, it is giving a flame. So, why it is giving a flame? I am saying that a flame is produced, okay. A flame is produced when gas reacts with gas, okay. That means, here this part of the candle is obviously solid ok you will find some melted wax over here and you know it gets vaporized here because of the heat ok. So, what is burning here the vapor of wax is burning what is burning over here vapor of wax ok wax vapor is burning. So, when wax vapor is burning along with what it is combining with oxygen that means two gaseous form ok. Vapor means what gaseous form of the like I am talking I am saying vapor of wax is burning and it is combining with oxygen means that means only burning. So, that means when two gaseous substance they react ok or in the simpler way when a substance burns Okay, when a substance burns in its vapor condition, then the flame is produced. Okay, but when a solid burns, when solid burns, the flame is not produced. So we'll talk again about this thing. Like we are talking about the flames. Okay, so we'll just again I will talk about the flames. What is how is flame form ok. I am saying few substances ok, few substances burns with flame or gives flame anything ok, while few just glow ok few substance just glow. I am saying that when few substance like substance are burnt few substance burns with what flame and the few just give like few just glow ok. So, when the flame is formed ok when how the flame is formed children when a substance when a combustible substance when a combustible substance burns in a vapor form ok when a substance why I have written combustible substance the substance which burns is combustible substance. So, so when a combustible substance burns in a vapor form or when a combustible substance burn in its vapor form both are correct that ok. So, when the substance which is burning is in the form of vapor I can even write this that when gaseous combined that means here the substance which is burning is also in the gaseous form and it combines with oxygen. Then what will happen again like I can say the flame is formed. So, when we talk about a candle, a candle is burning. So, the lower part obviously it is visible it is solid ok near the wick ok near the wick the melted part is there which get vaporized during the burning. So, what actually is burning children the vapors of what wax is burning and that is the reason a flame is formed in the candle. But when we talk about wood children in the beginning for few moment few minutes sorry you will find a flame because a substance few you know substances are there which get you know few things are there which immediately get vaporized. So, that burns in the beginning but then it starts glowing ok. So, this is how we can say that the substance will give flame or it would not give flame. Now, 
now how we can study flame children what is there in the flame so you know even the flame has different parts okay even the flame has different parts a flame can has luminous part first of all okay a flame can has first of all i'll tell you uh, the difference between the you know the luminous and the non luminous part okay luminous part and non non luminous first of all we'll talk about i'm not talking about the flame now i'm talking about like why sometimes the uh, luminous flame is there and while sometimes we'll see that non luminous flame is there okay now see just uh, you have seen uh, many a times you have seen gas okay gas which we use lpg at a uh, in a kitchen it burns with a blue color okay so a kitchen gas or lpg okay it burns with the blue color okay uh, have you ever you know uh, have you ever given a thought that why does it burns with a blue flame and not with a yellow flame okay well if you take example of some other case you will see even in the case of the candle you will find the yellow flame is there okay so why in the candle yellow flame and why in lpg the blue color flame is there okay yellow is seen in the wax so why is it so see children when we talk about lpg the blue flame is there because the particle see in lpg means what liquid petroleum gas okay liquid petroleum gas means what butane is filled up in the cylinders now this gas particles are very very small okay these gas particles are burning and it does not need much amount of oxygen to burn okay whatever amount of oxygen which is required for gas to burn it gets like it's available and so blue flame is obtained that means the total combustion is taking place okay combustion is taking place total okay now when we talk about the candle the the particles of the wax are bigger okay the particles of the wax are bigger than the what it is bigger than the lpg and when the particles of the wax are bigger than the lpg it needs more oxygen to burn now the sufficient amount of oxygen is not available here okay the sufficient amount of oxygen is not available here and so what is happening incomplete okay incomplete combustion is there and so the wax when it burns it gives when the candle burns it gives yellow flame so it should be understood first of all we are talking see when we talk about flame few substance burns with the flame few substance do not burn with the flame when a substance burns with the flame it means that it is burning in the in its vapor condition okay that means it is burning that the combustible substance in its is in its vapor condition this is the first point which is clear then the second point the flame can be of blue color sometimes you have seen the flame is of blue color well sometimes the flame is of yellow orange ish color okay so why the flame is sometimes of blue color because the total combustion is taking place as i have here given the example of lpg liquid petroleum gas that means butane the particles are very very small and it is able to get the required amount of oxygen and that is the reason the lpg gas burns with blue color okay when we talk about wax the particles are bigger than the lpg and so while burning and doesn't gets the amount of oxygen which is required okay so what is happening the color is what yellowish orange here i have taken the uh, lpg uh, this example of you know the uh, wax and uh, lpg but again like it melts while uh, burning okay 
so again you will find that there are certain different different colors in the flame that we will study now ok. So, in general total blue because total combustion taking place here because particles it gets converted into vapor ok, but then what is happening the amount of oxygen which is required it is not available like it is not uh, the it is not available around that and so there is difference in the color of the flame. Now, when you burn a mess stick there also you can find the different parts of the flame. Now, we are going to discuss about the different parts of the flame like how a flame is made up of one flame has different different parts you know. So, we just have a look upon the flame. Now, we will talk about the flame. So, a flame has different you know different parts like parts means different structure even I can write over here structure of flame ok structure of candle flame ok structure of candle flame. Now, first of all the first part is non luminous ok non luminous are you getting it? It is the first part is non luminous of complete combustion. Okay. First part is non luminous of complete combustion. I can even write over here zone. Okay. So, non luminous zone of complete combustion then second ok. Now, what is second children second is luminous zone ok luminous zone of incomplete combustion ok luminous zone of incomplete combustion. Now, the third part is dark zone ok, the third part is dark zone of no combustion ok, that means there is no combustion and the fourth one is blue zone ok. See we are discussing the structure of the flame of the wax ok. We are here studying the structure of wax flame. Now, it has got four zones it has got four zones ok. The first is non luminous zone ok, non luminous zone of complete combustion, second luminous zone of incomplete combustion, third dark zone of no combustion and fourth blue zone ok. So, first of all what we are studying over here we are studying structure of combustion of our structure of candle flame ok not combustion. Oh my god I have written D yeah it is correct yeah ok. So, now the first one non luminous of complete zone now try to understand children. Now, non luminous I have written non luminous zone of complete combustion means whenever the combustion is complete ok. Okay, complete combustion means what just now I told when the amount of oxygen is proper ok. When something is burning and that burning substance is able to you know it, it is the amount of, of oxygen which is available is quite sufficient for burning. Now, when the amount of oxygen which is which is there available 
is sufficient okay then the flame becomes non luminous it doesn't no it doesn't glow it is what bluish type it doesn't glow but when the what combustion is incomplete children when the combustion is incomplete okay what will happen the substance which are unburned substance means what the particles okay the uh, the particles which are left unburned they glow and that is the reason in always remember in an incomplete combustion always luminous zone will be there luminous zone will be there means the flame will be you know it will glow yellowish color okay now dark zone that means why dark zone a part where there is no light there is no burning is happening that means the availability of oxygen is not there and the blue zone okay this is again a zone where again i'll tell you how carbon monoxide is produced and that is burning now first of all the flame this is the candle now this is the wick okay and wick has produced the flame okay wick has produced the flame now children the outermost part it is not visible actually clearly okay the outermost part this part is slightly blue you know this part is slightly okay this part is slightly blue or oh, why slightly blue because again what is there it is which kind like what it is it is the non luminous zone of complete combustion okay it is this blue part children okay this blue part which is not very easily visible okay what is this this is non luminous zone of complete combustion okay this is not visible and that is the reason you know the uh, goldsmith they keep on blowing it okay they have a small smoker and with that they keep on blowing the air and so that you know it comes like it comes out okay uh, now this part is the hottest part actually okay this part is hottest part this is the hottest part outermost part okay this is hot is outermost okay and it has got full amount of oxygen that means oxygen uh, whatever uh, oxygen is available is quite sufficient or in other way if i say it has got like it is in contact here with total atmosphere so the amount of oxygen which it gets is quite sufficient okay see we are studying flame which flame candle flame okay now it has got four parts okay it has got four zones the first is which one non luminous that means which doesn't glow okay non luminous zone of complete combustion now we are studying this one which is of blue color it's not as visible as the other zones are visible as very clearly okay now this one is hottest okay it is the outermost it is hottest and this one is non luminous zone means why it is non luminous because as the availability of oxygen is good the substance that part here okay it's burning totally and so unburned hydrocarbon parts are not here okay now come to the second one second is luminous zone of incomplete combustion okay it is luminous zone this one now okay if i draw here this one 
ok. So, it is what luminous zone ok luminous zone of incomplete combustion ok luminous zone of incomplete combustion. Now children this is the part where the amount of oxygen is not uh, as uh, like no it is not the quantity is not as uh, uh, present over here as it is present over here ok. So, here the color is what yellow ok the color is yellowish orange or yellow here you can why like why it is glowing over here because the unburned part is there the unburned particles are there ok which comes and just gives the flame which color is it giving it is giving yellow color ok. Now, we will talk about the third one ok. Now, we will talk about the third one here the dark zone ok the dark zone ok. Now, third is dark zone of no combustion that means why see the name itself suggests that dark zone of no combustion. No combustion means what there is no combustion that means here oxygen is not available ok oxygen is not available I have written present so I have present ok. See outermost hottest this is the outermost it burns like this flame is of yellow color ok and it is not visible easily ok. Here the availability of oxygen is quite good that is the reason the color of the flame is blue it is not yellowish orange ok. And this is not visible and so the goldsmith they keep on blowing so that this flame comes out this is the hottest part of the flame. Now, come to the next one next is what? luminous zone of incomplete combustion that means unburned particles of hydrocarbons can be seen that is the reason it becomes a yellow orange part ok that is the reason it becomes yellow orange orange part. Now, here the dark zone is there why dark zone that means no combustion is taking place what is not taking place combustion is not taking place. Now, last this part is known as blue zone ok. Now, why it is blue zone you might or you should think actually ki when I am writing blue zone that means total combustion should take place, but total combustion of what is taking place that is more important children due to the this one this yellow one ok unburned carbon is there unburned hydrocarbons are there ok. Now, due to incomplete combustion ok due to incomplete combustion carbon monoxide is produced ok due to what incomplete combustion carbon monoxide is produced. When carbon monoxide is produced so what will happen children this now here it burns ok here it burns and it burns with the blue flame ok it burns with the blue flame. So, again we will revise it first of all, first of all it has got what 4 zones ok. The outermost zone is what it is the hottest outermost ok and the availability of oxygen oxygen is available ok oxygen is available. Now, non luminous zone of complete combustion that means what over here the availability of oxygen get reduced ok and that is the reason it burns with which kind of flame children it is burning this one is done children this one is what this one is the first one. Non luminous zone of complete combustion here is what it is the hottest one outermost it oxygen is available over here and that is the reason it burns with the blue flame ok. Now, come to the next one luminous zone of incomplete combustion here 
the availability of oxygen get decreased and so it burns with yellow orangish flame ok. Now, come to the next one at the upper end of the wick ok what is there it is known as dark zone at there is no combustion taking place that means here combustion is not taking place here no combustion is taking place and this one here carbon monoxide is burning. So, if I have to write over here some important point this all things I have written over there. Now, here dark zone what should what should be the point children that here the what nothing like combustion is absent ok no combustion is what combustion is absent here ok. And here what is burning children carbon monoxide is burning. So, this is the structure of the flame ok first of all the flame like we can see this that some substance burns with flame while some substance do not burn with flame. When a substance can burn in with the flame when the vapor uh, part ok when when the combustible substance is burning in its vaporized uh, condition ok that means when its vapors are burning. So, when its vapors are burning children that means in then in that condition only the flame, flame is possible. We can see the flame only when the substance burns in its vapor form. Now, so here the substance is burning in its vapor form and so we are studying the structure of the flame.